There's Andy. Andy's got to be a little frustrated. Now, he was used to the throwing offenses of Portland State, Boise State. Came into Coach Pat Hill's offense. They really try to stay balanced 50-50, but, James, we talked about it before the game and on the field today. You, when you got great, fast receivers, send them up the field. They have four wide receivers. They run the screen to Paris Gaines, and Gaines will get the first down and more. Paris inside the 30-yard line. Paris Gaines is gone. Third down and 12, and you get 73 and 6. Great execution by Fresno State. All the big guys, all those guys that are around 300 pounds, they're out in front of that screen running. And you know what a nice call by Ludwig, because he's going to complete that pass. You're going to gain something. Chances are you may gain 12, get the first down. They didn't want another negative play. And Rams, did you like the way they spread the field with the wide receivers? They spread the field. They did send everybody up the field vertically, but then they snuck out Paris Gaines. And great call by Andy Lud Ludwig. Asinas Baruhov will go for the point after touchdown. Right through. Fresno State back in the game. Touchdown. Air Force will receive the football in the second half. They have scored 34 against Fresno State. Leotis Palmer back deep standing at the three-yard line. And they go with the onside kick. And Fresno State hopping on that football. They yeah, come the up official with point in the wrong far. direction. <laughs> it is Bulldog yeah, football. That's the right direction. Well, there's a start for Fresno State. You know, you would think coming out for the second half, Air Force would be ready for just about anything. But they weren't thinking they were going to get an onside kick. Executed very well. That's caught right at about 11 yards, right along the boundary. Nice job by Juan Bautista, backup cornerback. Mike Thiessen was their star in that first half. 129 yards passing, 8 of 14, threw for two scores, and both to the kid who grew up, grew up just 10 minutes from the stadium, Santa Clara. The fullback, Becker carries, or the fake to the fullback, and they will sweep it to McKay, Fresno State, with their best defense, really in a while. Check out their running by direction, 17 carries, 99 yards to the left. Four carries, 65 yards to the right, and then the fullbacks do the dirty work up the middle. 14 yards, 28 carries. That may not be impressive, but that's what keeps the defense honest, plugging the ball up the middle. Why only four to the right side, Rams? Well, you know, they've gone into the short sideline quite a few times, so Air Force has not gone to the wide field, which I think, in terms of game plan, has been a great call on the part of Fisher DeBerry. Jacino Giramonte with an excellent play, so it's two plays for Air Force. Both have gone backwards, and the Bulldogs with a nice start. Well, right now, Fresno State has to get their three linebackers involved. Chiramonte right there. He fights off the block. He's able to stay right on top of Mike Thiessen. They, get, they want the ball in Thiessen's hands, but you got to corral him. And in the first half, he ran the option at will. Well, I think it's time for defensive coordinator Kevin Coyle to just roll the dice. Come after this guy. Six, seven guys. Send them all. They're bringing Orlando Huff. They throw the screen, and it is incomplete. Huff read it beautifully, number 49. He was chasing Scott Becker. On a, it, appear, it appears Pat Hill's decision to punt the ball on fourth down there was a good decision. In but Fresno State has their best starting field position of the game after a 31-yard punt. Now from the 36 of Air Force. High formation. David Carr to the air. Charles Smith first down out of bounds near the 24 yard line. Good safe throw getting a little timing and rhythm between quarterback and receiver and you know you have to keep an eye on the clock the entire second half if you're Pat Hill 
He really prides himself on being a, a manager during the course of the game as a head coach and really focusing on game management, but clock management as well. Berrien stays in the game. He's wide right receiver right side. They will run the football to Derek Ward, and he punishes them to the 10. Derek Ward to the 8, first and goal, Fresno State. Now remember, Fresno State brought about 15,000 people with them, so there's a lot of red shirts in the crowd, and that's what Pat Hill's hoping. They just get a little fired up and get behind the team. You talked about their two running backs, Paris Gaines and Derek Ward. Well, Derek Ward is the more physical back. He's going to pound you. 5'11", 230 pounds. And well, we'll take what we can get, not what we want. They want seven points here. I agree. They had to punt it away after they recovered the onside kick. Now's the time to put points on the board. You can't wait any longer. The clock is your enemy. They're going with a heavy load look. They bring in the fullback, Tim Osborne. Play action, David Carr. Loops end zone. Caught Alec Greco, but there is a flag down. I think you got holding initially, and then you could almost call Al Greco for pushing off a little bit. He's just trying to get loose from Tony Metters. Metters was holding. He had holding him. Holding on the defense. Penalty decline. Touchdown. Well, they rolled the dice, and they came up snake eyes. <laughs> Came up six points is what came up. There's that crowd, that sea of red. Starting to get into this. They got something to cheer about right now. How about this extra point formation? Do you, do you, do you like it? Yay or nay for you? Nay. <laughs> just, just more practice time for you, huh? More practice time. Just line up, kick it. <laughs> and they, they've got to have a great two-point playoff of it, though. You know, James, I always wanted to get off the field early. <laughs> Extra point is good. Fresno State has cut it to 20, 34-14 on their second possession of the second half. Carr to Greco. To it, Eric, with a defensive stop. Again, they had the Falcons going backwards on their first offensive possession of the second half. Thiessen, Hobson, again they go backwards. They stretched out beautifully, and again it was Giacchino Chiramonti. Well, guys, tomorrow the tremendous speed. I saw him at practice the other day. I picked him up. I said, J.D., you put on a couple of pounds. He can still run a better 40 time than you. I know that. Don't rub it in. <laughs> Alan Harper. I think the tough thing now for Air Force, everything worked so well in the first half. Every play that you called worked to perfection. Chuck Peterson, offense coordinator, I jokingly say, well, what are you going to do now? Everything's worked. He kind of laughed at me. In the third quarter to get back in the game, but they need a defensive stop here. Thiessen just completed a pass on third and five for 17 for the first time for the first down. Then he was rough, so they have the football all the way to the Bulldog 45. Thiessen, the sophomore from Modesto, California. He is tackled by Tim Skipper, smallest linebacker in college football at five feet seven. What a wonderful young man. I know you talked to him, Rams and James, on Friday when we were at the Bulldog practice. Boy, Tim Skipper really can deliver. He's so bull-legged that when he sits around the house, he actually sits around the house. <laughs> Here comes Mike. This time read beautifully by defensive back Dante Marsh. On his back, too. Yeah. <laughs> his little buddy. Tim Skipper, the linebacker. Dave Adams has made all three of his attempts. Long from 46. This will be from 30. Bishop DeBerry took his hat off and slammed it to the ground. Still, Air Force leads by 17 with just inside 11 to go. Boy, a great job by the Fresno State special teams. Watch him go up in the air right here. Gets awfully high up. Terrence Brown, reserve free safety, skying. 
Watch, he just gets a good leap right there. The ball comes off Adam's foot. And that's a lot of commitment by Terrence Brown because yep. you're not landing on a foam pad to go up and do that. No, but you are landing on the back of Allen Harper. Yeah, but. A portion of the game it is. Credit for consistency. And your eye shadow looks bad. You need to make a makeup call, James. <laughs> 37-20 Air Force. David Carr. Barrion. Bernard. Gone. Started, you know, it started all this when Fresno State blocked that kick. That was their seventh block this season. And they had blocked. It's about a motion, doing something that you do really well. And Bernard Varian got a chance to play more this year when Charles Smith and both Rodney Wright were out with injuries. And that playing time is paying dividends right now. Well, Varian came in the number one receiver for the Bulldogs. And right there, they got him the ball and he delivered. Fresno State has cut it to 10. They still have 9.58 left in the big arm of that young man, David Carr. Fisher DeBerry said the keys win the kicking game, win time of possession, win turnovers, win penalties. They have done all but the kicking game in the second half. Fresno State is at its best when they're in spread offense. They're letting those receivers get vertical. They're putting the pressure on the defense right there. Bernard Barry and taking it all the way to the house. Well, they have more depth at receiver than they do at running back, and playing these three wide receivers obviously has been to their advantage, and they spread Air Force out. It's a worried look by Fisher to Barry. Good. Can you believe this? Fresno State down 34 to 7 at halftime. And they are right back in it with six and a half minutes left. Carr to Varian. 51 yards later, the Bulldogs believe. Back up inside. If they got that fullback dive working, the rest of that offense is working. Beeson pitches. Brown. Nothing. And look at the emotion after the tackle. This is great college football. I would love to be able to go on those big old needles that they send in your body and suck some of the adrenaline out of the Fresno State players and then suck a little bit out of the Air Force players. The Fresno adrenaline meter is a little higher than the Air Force meter right now. So Brian Fleming right now third and nine for the Falcons. Ryan Fleming, right side. Will it go the big guy's way? Stacy is sacked. Time out. Maybe, maybe Time out. field goal range. Timeout is called with 147. Who's the player that ran up to the referee and called timeout? Tim Skipper. Tim Skipper, the defensive leader of that Bulldog defense, the heady veteran senior. It's been all whack three years in a row. Really the heart and soul of that Bulldog defense. This year has been from 43. Carr gets it to Berrien. Bernard to the 41. And the first down clock stops at 53. Well, we've had a player of the game in the first half, and that was obviously Mike Thiessen, player of the game in the second half. Bernard Varian, he's off the clock. They still have 42 seconds. Now you have 50 yards of field to play from the 40-yard line. Steve knows a go route, a deep bomb, is caught at about 45 to 46 yards. And right now, Charles Smith is in that slot. Car fires. Rodney Wright at the 20-yard line. Yesterday, Car 
said he thinks he's the best slant route runner in college football. Get down near the red zone. I always the Con Valley football classic we've had. Now from 33 yards out. Asparuha. They fake and throw. Oh, oh my goodness. He had two men open. He threw the ball in between Donnell Birch. You know what I think? I think what led to that decision, I, I think your kicker was sitting there. It's a cold night. No. I and I don't think he was prepared for it. Sure. I mean, otherwise, put it through the uprights. They did have two guys wide open. Missed him. Jeremonti, the linebacker who, the, who, who was the up back, but you're asking a guy who doesn't throw the ball ever, Jason Simpson, the punter. You know what? And look at Donnell Burch saying, I was so Find wide open. Target. Find the guy who's, uh, you know, 6'5", 300 pounds, who used to be a wide receiver. Know your personnel. Know your personnel.